All right, we're gonna download our Snapchat, Snap code, and our Snapchat URL, which again, we can use as a button on our website, a menu item or a link uh, directly in text or in an image. Um, of course, we can use a Snapchat Snap code to print it on a business card, to print it on flyers, banners, stickers, t-shirts, which a lot of people do. Um, so in the next video, we're actually gonna convert our Snap code into a vector graphic. Okay, so that we can have a vectorized version of the snap code and uh, we can, you know, manipulate the size of that graphic without, um, you know, running into any pixelation or, uh, you know, we, we definitely want the prints to be high quality and as sharp as possible, especially if we're printing it really big. So we're going to have to convert it to a vector because by default, it isn't a vector. So first to download our snap code, what we need to do is go on our desktop and open up your web browser. In the address bar, you want to go to www.snapchat.com forward slash add forward slash and you want to type in your uh, cool. You want to type in your Snapchat uh, username. So in my case, it's denied skater. I have two Snapchat. Um, I have two Snapchat accounts, one for my personal account and one for business. Um, so this is your snap code. You don't necessarily want to download this graphic directly off of the site. Instead, you want to scroll to the very bottom of the page and okay generally i could log in here doesn't look like there is a login link at the bottom of the page anymore so i'm going to see if i can go to log in in the address bar whoops okay so let me go back to snapchat.com Awesome. So there's a lot of stuff going on with Snapchat. You can click on snap codes when you're on snapchat.com and um, it'll, uh, it'll prompt you to log in. So when you actually go to log in, you want to use your username, password, click the I'm not a robot um, verification and then click on log in. And Let's see, make a snap code. We have one, my snap codes. Uh, so you're gonna click on my snap codes and click on this download icon. I'm sure it's gonna download this for me. Um, it does do an SVG version of your snap code, I think. So let's, let's just double check. I'm gonna go back and log out. guess I can't really okay yeah this hamburger icon log out and I'm gonna log in with my second account so first I want to take this zipped file that we just downloaded I want to cut it out of my downloads and uh, create a folder on my desktop titled Snapchat Snap Code. I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to create a folder for my specific account. Since I have two, I'm going to create two folders in here. And I'm going to paste, I'm going to move this zipped file into the appropriate folder for that account. All right, so the pages are a little bit different. And you wanna extract this folder or the zipped archive and delete the zipped archive. If you wanna unzip it, if you're on a Mac, you wanna unarchive it. So we've got a guidelines PDF 
We've got an SVG and we've got a PNG. I believe we can open the SVG in Adobe Illustrator, so you don't necessarily need to um, vectorize this. If you have Adobe Illustrator, go ahead and open it. You should be able to um, export the um, SVG into an Illustrator, a PDF, a PSD, or PNG document. All right, so we've got these paths here. So our snap code is already vectorized for us. And we're using Adobe Illustrator to see this. I'm gonna file save as, and we're actually gonna save this as a um, Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator file. I might even go ahead and save it as an EPS as well. So let me give this a second to save. We'll go to save as um, EPS. So I'm going to do this for my other um, SVG for my other account. And I'm also going to save it as an Illustrator file and an EPS. Just click OK, file save as EPS. Now, if you wanted to send this into someone to have it printed on a sticker, you should be able to upload the EPS or the uh, AI file, sometimes the SVG. You definitely don't necessarily want to use the PNG because it um, is more than likely not going to be vectorized. Okay, while it's a big file, uh, big dimensions like 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels, it's not a vectorized graphic. So I like to use Adobe Fireworks when I edit my uh, graphics. So I'm going to go ahead and close Adobe Illustrator. And we've got our files downloaded in four different formats plus a guidelines. Um, what I want to do is create a text document in this folder. We're going to type, we're going to call this uh, Snapchat um, URL. And I'll go back to Snapchat. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.snapchat.com forward slash add forward slash your username. D E N I E D S K A D R is my username. I'm going to copy that and paste that here. So there's my button. There's my URL for, you know, if I want to add a button to my website, I can use that URL. save that. So let me show you how this works. You can use that URL in any button on your website. For instance, if I go to coreyowens.com, I'll scroll down. And there's my snap chat snap code. Basically, someone can scan this. I can get this printed on a sticker. I can put whatever image in the background of the ghost that I want because they are um, the black, yellow, and white are all in different layers. I can basically mask my image into the white section of the ghost uh, using whatever image I want. But I can click on this and it'll open up my uh, Snapchat, which basically uh, brings me to the snap code. Um, if you do this from the phone, which I'll go ahead and do now, um, it'll actually open up the app. So let's do that. I'll, I'll do that a couple of different ways.
Okay, so let me go to my website. And I'll go over to my Snapchat section. And if I tap this, it'll open up Snapchat. It says, uh, I'm already my friend. Now, of course, you can embed this in a link in a button. Okay, you can embed this pretty much anywhere. But also, if I open up Snapchat, I'm going to preview my snap code. All right, there's my snap code. I think I just need to take a picture of it. Maybe not. So what I'll do is I'll go over to search and I'll go to quick add. Um, I should be able to, this is a little bit different than what it was. I know that much. So I'm going to click on add friends and add by snap code. And if I download my snap code into my camera roll, I can upload it from here. I should be able to just scan this with my phone all right so hold on let me try and make sure we're not in memphis entrepreneur because this is our own snap code let me go over to my denied skater because i'm logged into the memphis entrepreneur club account so let me preview the denied skater snap code eh, that'll probably make sense Awesome. So I took a picture and it says Coriolans is already your friend. So uh, you can print this on a wall. You can get this like printed on a, a uh, banner to put on your wall. If you're a business, you can have this painted on your wall. If you're a business, you can have this put on your window as a big sticker or on the side of your car as a sticker as well. A uh, bumper sticker even uh, with your snap chat handle. Um, if people can't scan it while they're driving they can at least see your handle too so it's a long bumper sticker but if you're parked someone can go up and actually scan the snap code uh, and you don't even have to like all you have to do is take a picture of it in snapchat and it'll automatically scan it for you boom Coriolans is already your friend so downloading your snap code if you're a business and your target audience is some is uh you know females or uh, females between the age of 13 and, uh, you know, 20, 23, thir I think between 13 and, and yeah, about 20 something. Um, those are, you know, that target audience might, might be interested in what you have to share with, um, a Snapchat audience it really doesn't, it's not necessarily for just women, but, or females in that age group, but people in general between the ages of 13 and 23 are pretty active on snapchat so if you have a business and your customer base is uh, those people even if they're older you might have like a, a a lot of influence as a business or as an individual like an entrepreneur so snapchat might be perfect for you if you're into real estate uh, snapchat might be awesome for you so that you could show more houses um, using your digital influence and, and give people a sneak peek into, uh, you know, houses that you have for sale, you might want to market yourself on Snapchat and have this snap code printed on one of those, uh, fold out. Um, I forget, I don't know what you would call them, but one of those yard signs that you put up in the front of a house that's for sale, say, um, add us on Snapchat to see, um, you know, listings from this realtor on our snapchat account that'll be game changing for someone in memphis for example <laughs>
because no, nobody's really thinking about doing that. And I've talked to a couple of realtors and suggested that they do it, but uh, no one's really taken me up on that offer just yet. So, um, you know, for you guys who are looking for ways to market for free to potentially get more leads and more business, Snapchat is definitely a way to go. Uh, this is how you download your snap code and your Snapchat URL. You can put that URL into a button on your website. Um, or, you know, into a lead page, into a funnel, however you want to do it. Um, and you can upload the Snapchat snap code to your different profiles, um, to your Instagram, or however you feel like marketing your business. You can get this printed on the back of a t-shirt if you go out and, you know, host an event, get this printed on stickers on for cars or for your shop window. So many different things that you can really do with this. Um, so... You know, take that URL from your Snapchat and also add that to your iOS contact card. So when people when you send other iOS users your contact information, they'll have your Snapchat URL embedded in there. OK, so they're more likely to look at that. If you send it to them, they'll be like, OK, cool, I can save this. And when they go to save your contact information using that contact card, they will have to scroll through all of your URLs to the very bottom to actually save the contact. So chances are they will look at the URLs you have embedded. 